Hi guys, in this video, I'm gonna review with you Marriott Bonvoy or Bonvoy. Guys, this is a good program for Marriott, but to be honest with you, when I bought a credit card to my daughter, which was a fake one, you know, just so that she can act like daddy, this is pretty much what the lower level feels like. It's sad to say, but unless you're platinum, uh, it's pretty much a fake card that you have in your pocket. We're gonna talk about the higher end level. I've been ambassador for a few times. Guys, look, it's really worth it when you're on the high level. Below that, uh, meh. But why do you wanna have that? Because over time you accumulate points and the point system, it's pretty good, okay? It used to be based on the one from Continental. Actually, to be honest with you, it's the same sort of base system because you can even have a United Silver level uh, if you're platinum and up. So this is nice. It gives you some benefit with the airline as well as with the hotel and it's pretty good, okay? It's one of the good reward program. I didn't use it that much because of COVID and also because I've spent like 55 hotel nights in, uh, you know, using uh, hotel.com and I'm gonna review that next. But guys, yeah, it's a good program. Um, and yeah, if you travel a lot. First of all, it's one of the very few program that I know that have 24 hour of stay. Okay, so generally imagine this, okay, you're gonna have to, let's say, arrive at three-ish, right, for check-in, and you're gonna have to get out at noon. Now with them, you can do a complete uh, 4433, something like that. This is something that you can easily do. So this is interesting. Uh, this is something a bit unique. Now, another thing you will have is a butler. Now, if you watch my video on Hard Rock, and I'm gonna put the card there as an Hall of Fame at Hard Rock, which you pay about $300,000, I have 500,000 invested with these guys. Uh, a butler and a concierge are two different things, okay? Uh, the butler at Marriott is really like uh, a personal assistant that handles maybe 20, 30 rooms, okay? He's not gonna be there with you, you know, you're not gonna be Batman over there with your, you know, your, your Alfred next to you all the time. It's gonna be somebody that you, you can text, you can call, uh, and you know, he can do some things for you, but it's not gonna be, uh, you know, like a real dedicated butler, but it's very nice to have though, for hotel reservation, reserving taxis, something like that, need something pick up, yeah, he can organize that for you. You're gonna have 75% of increased point when you're at the higher level, like Platinum and Ambassador. That's very useful too, because that's gonna give you a better chance to keep the level for the next year. Um, they're gonna give you a gift at arrival. Now, uh, yeah, take the points. Because the gift at arrival is actually a breakfast or points. Uh, honestly, that's not worth it because your breakfast, you're gonna have it included with your lounge access. Now, lounge access only starts at platinum. Anything below platinum will not see that. So to have breakfast and lounge access and sometimes snack at night, depending on the country, like in China, for example, you would have like a, almost a full meal at night. Yeah, that's nice. GW Marriott and regular Marriott will have, it's nice. Now, this one I have experience and I know to be true, okay? 48-hour uh, reservation, they'll always have a room. If they don't have a room, they'll put you in another hotel. And they've done that for me. They put me, uh, uh, I was at GW Marriott and they put me at a Hilton. It wasn't that great. It's not that much of a great match. Uh, but, you know, like they will give you a suite. They'll make sure that you have another room somewhere else. So this is actually a peace of mind, okay? So you arrive at the hotel, sorry, you know, you can waste an hour-ish. They're gonna give you quickly another hotel put your stuff in a taxi and they're gonna ship you somewhere else. But generally they do guarantee the rooms and they try to give you the best upgrades for suites. I've never really had anything else than a suite. Yes, of course, you're gonna pay the price, but you know, if you already traveled, you know, 75 nights with them uh, and you travel a lot in Marriott's, then you're used to pay $300 a night and you know, that that's basically what it is. Now you may have uh, five, you, again, this is a gift. You may choose five nights with your point every single year. So if you have 75 uh, nights, you can get five extra uh, at elite level. Uh, so that means you may not get all the benefit of ambassador while you're in those kind of nights. It depends on which resort you go to and which stay and if the service is available. Now we already mentioned the lounge access, you're gonna have internet, you're gonna have, let's say, a conference room if you need one. Uh, it depends on where you are. The, the GWs are great for that. In Asia, they're amazing. You're gonna have very huge conference room. You're gonna have uh, dedicated staff to help you with different things. Uh, in America, it's a bit less, but you still have a lounge with, you know, um, of course, access internet in, in the room, but uh, that's another thing too. In your room, they guarantee faster internet. So they have load balancers. You're gonna get a different code to give you more access. 
Now, the ultimate reservation is also pretty good. Okay, honestly, uh, this is what I mentioned to you that when uh, they don't have a room available, they'll put you somewhere else. This is fine. This is part of the, and you don't have to have the 48 hour guarantee. This one is also available. That's why I'm mentioning it separately. Uh, if you reserve long in advance or a day in advance, uh, if ever you show up over there in the overbook or there's an event in town and you cannot get the room, they'll put you somewhere else. Uh, no issue. You're still going to have to pay your night, but they will put you somewhere else. Then you have a specific toll-free number. This now, they will guarantee the best rate. This is what it says with, you know, asterisks. Um, it is and it is not, okay? I mean, you could get better rates somewhere else, but they will try to guarantee. You can fight them off on this and that's... Uh, you know, I never really had an issue. You book direct. If ever you see the price somewhere else that is equal, uh, then they might say, okay, fine. But of course, if you book with somebody else, you're not going to have all the benefit that you have with your ambassador or platinum program. So, you know, you're better off booking with them and pay the extra in order to have all these benefits. Um, you can check in with your phone. You can check out that way. You can also open the door of your room in some hotels. Uh, it's getting more now, but you can do that as well. Uh, this is pretty cool. And the other thing that's also uh, quite interesting is the fact that they give you silver with United. Now, it's not as good as it was when it was Continental in 2012. 10 years ago, I would say, yeah, silver was great because you get some free upgrade. Uh, now, there's so many with the merge with United. Uh, people like me, for example, I'm a platinum elite with them. So, you know, like I'm going to get my upgrade way before, you know, silver ever even think about it. And on top of that, you, you got the gold from uh, Star Alliance. So then you have to deal with everybody that are elite in all 31 airlines, you know, Air Canada, Super Elite and so on and so forth before they even touch the silver. So you may have some little benefit like an extra luggage or some pounds more for certain and things yes okay uh, but that's about it. it's not that great of a perks but it's there now you can pay let's say $55 or $60 plus about 3,000 points 3,500 points in order to be able to get uh, an, an extra free room this is nice so basically your point accumulation can be used for that on top of being used uh, you know, to be able to graduate in the program. So that's cool. So Marriott, still very good, still happy to be, to use their hotel at least 30, 40 uh, nights in the past two years and another 50 night with uh, hotel.com. And I'm going to talk to you about that because I'm gold and I've been gold for years with hotel.com. Is it worth it? And, you know, compared to being silver or literally nothing. Uh, so let's talk about that in the next video.